a very special last call. No time to read a sick biography of Governor Sarah Palin or Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. We have another option. Head to your local comic book store. The Female Force, Hillary Clinton and Sarah Palin biographical comics have just hit the stores. Join us live with Darren G. Davis, creator and co-founder of Blue Water Productions, who publishes the comics. And Darren, I understand even Michelle Obama is going to have her own comic book. Yeah, and next month in April, we're releasing the Michelle Obama comic, so we're really excited about that. As well as Caroline Kennedy, which will be in June. All right, now, um, I, why, do you, why are you doing these comic books? Is it to make fun of these women, or to have good humor with them, or what? N not at all. I, comics can be really used as a tool now um, to really educate people who get, you know, a lot of their information from headlines. You know, when I was a kid, I really had a hard time reading, and comic books really did help me, you know, to read better. And so they can really be used as a tool, and we really want to, these are non-biased comics and they're biographical comics, and we really want to show, you know, these women and, you know, they're strong, independent women who have done so many amazing things, and we really want to showcase that as well. All right, so shout out to comics. I think that's how my brother read Shakespeare in college. I'm not joking, the classic <laughs> comic books. Um, I hope he's not watching. Um, anyway, all right, so, uh, so Secretary Clinton, First Lady Michelle Obama, and Governor Palin, they would like what they read in comic books about themselves, probably. Definitely. We know that uh, Sarah Palin's camp knows about the comic book. We heard from them today. Um, yes, yeah, so we're. What did they say? They just said they know about the comic book. So, <laughs> so, and they said um, like have a great day afterwards. So we talked to their press people about it. So, and it was nice. I mean, it was they, a you know we. Had, why did they call you, or why did you call them, or did they did you get called by them, or did they call you? We've been getting a lot of press from the Alaska publications and stuff, so we really wanted to put an olive branch out to the Palin camp, and so we wanted to send them some comics as well, because we really do feel like she'll be proud of these, just as Hillary Clinton would be proud, and Michelle Obama and Caroline, and even soon Barbara Walters. Well, Barbara Walters is good. We'll look for that well, one. Barbara Walters, too. yes. Um, do you, just a curiosity, do you think women get a fair shake in the media? I do. I, I, I think so. Yeah. I, I, I think that with people like Sarah Palin and Hillary Clinton really coming into, you know, the mainstream media and just really doing, you know, amazing things, I, I do think they're starting to. I think it's, it's steps a little bit. What's sort of interesting, the women that you have picked are very right. accomplished women on, on both sides of the aisle whether it's uh, the right. first lady who is uh, very accomplished self or the secretary of the governor. Um, so it's interesting that you picked the accomplished one. So I take it that uh, that they will to have pride in having comic books about themselves. I do. And, and I do think that, you know, down the line, because this is going to be an ongoing series, um, that, you know, there will be other people that we will focus on as well. So there's going to be a lot of other women. You never know that there could be one of you coming up. So who knows? So. <laughs> I was just going to suggest Bill O'Reilly and Sean Hannity and uh, <laughs> uh, to tease them. I, I realize you do women, but...